If you've recently hired a coach or mentor, or even if you are even considering it, then you're probably interested in maximizing the value of that investment. So that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Welcome back everyone, I'm Alan, and on this channel we learn everything about booking and converting more calls and clients. Now if you're working with a coach or mentor, or even if you're just considering it, then you probably already know that there is a decent level of investment required. At least there should be. Uh, but in any case, now, regardless of the investment amount or the price or cost, however you want to look at it, it's actually extremely easy to give them your credit card as opposed to actually doing the work. So in any case, let's go ahead and jump right in to five ways to maximize the value of your coaching or mentorship or mastermind. So the first way to maximize the value of your coaching is to prioritize it. Now this pretty much means put it above all else. Now there's a great quote from Greg McCown. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Anyway, from his book Essentialism, which I'll pop in here. Anyway, his quote is this priority is singular. Now, obviously, this means that priorities don't exist because there's only one thing allowed to be at the top of your goals. So the point here is that there will be tons of other things who wish to interrupt your progress. There will be kids or family or friends parties or holidays or whatever it might be. But the important point here is to prioritize your coaching investment. The next way to maximize the value of your coaching is to actually utilize it. You might be interested to learn that most situations where somebody book prepays for calls, events, things like this are never even used or redeemed. So the point is, if there are coaching calls, if there's a guide, if there's self-paced training, whatever they're offering you, be sure to actually use it. The next step to maximize the value of your coaching is to review everything often. Now this can actually be on their end or on your end. So for example, if it's on their end, you should review the training that they're giving you, the steps that they're showing you, pretty much the things that they're telling you to do. On the other hand, if it's on your end, then you should review your own funnel, your own content strategy, your own outreach, and so forth. The next way to maximize the value of your coaching is to be open-minded. In other words, to be open to changing your mind. So the point here is not to get annoyed or offended or frustrated or angry or anything like that to incoming suggestions and constructive criticism and stuff like that. Now remember, you actually paid or invested in your coach or mentor, so it kind of doesn't make sense if you don't take their advice. So the short story here is that you invested in a coach or program because whatever you were doing wasn't working or wasn't working fast or good enough, which means, of course, that you should be be open to taking that criticism, those new ideas, however you want to look at it, and just taking it in stride without being offended. And the last way to maximize the value of your coaching or mentorship is to actually listen and do it. Now, you may or may not know that most information products, that means courses, online courses, events, books, seminars, all types of things like this are never even used or they're only opened once. So if I pay somebody however much money to teach me how to lose weight or build muscle or grow my sales or whatever, it doesn't really make sense if I don't actually listen and do what they are advising me to do. And the absolute best way to maximize the value of your coaching is to hit the like button and subscribe below. If you learned something interesting today, it does help a lot. So how do you make the most out of your coaching or books or training or any other type of mentorship like that? Definitely let us know in the comments below. For more help booking consistent discovery calls and clients, then I have a free training below, which you can easily check out in the links, or otherwise you can book a strategy call with me directly. Well, that wraps us up for today. Thanks everyone for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one.